Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to an Alex Ashok reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new video. Now this one's actually called Let's Go to the Science Museum, Target Hall, and Went to Church, which is interesting there at the end, her talking about going to church because I heard Mama Lynn in the background of the previous video saying, I'm trying to get her to go to church. But Amberlynn cut her off. So I was wondering if that was something that was actually going to come to fruition. Will she answer our burning questions? Because I know that there was a couple of questions there at the end of the vlog, at the end of the previous vlog that I wanted to hear about her talking to a reality show producer among other things. It is interesting to see Amberlynn out and about, so I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at this one. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Can you guys see Amberlynn on a reality show? Does she have the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent for such a thing? <laughs> what do y'all think? Let me know. Is she not train wreck enough anymore? Did they miss, uh, they miss 2019 Lynn or something? Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Hey girl, how's it going? What do you guys think about these vlogs recently? They've been kind of hit or miss. I've enjoyed them. I enjoyed seeing her kind of reconnect with her mom. We're gonna start this vlog off with like a taste test moment. Oh goodness. Are you guys ready for it? Just do a mukbang already. I feel like she's trying to desensitize us to these eating, to her eating on camera, right? Cause she always does a taste test moment. If you want to do a mukbang, just do a mukbang, honestly, at this point. I do wonder what the like to dislike ratio on that would look like, but YouTube got rid of the dislike button, so here we are. It's a hot mama, hot and spicy pickle. So that's what the thumbnail is, her eating a pickle. That's naughty. That is extremely naughty. Look at that. Okay. Um, you know exactly what you're doing, and I love it. Um, let's try her. It says on here no refrigeration needed, but your girl refrigerates literally everything. Ooh, that's potent. Okay, so random fact about me, I love a pickle. That's a hot pickle moment. But I like the pickles that are... I like a good pickle too. I usually get the Clausens. Like snack size because the texture, because mm, I'm weird mm. about textures. So I normally- Does she like the pickle spears or, so I guess she's saying she doesn't like the big pickles, right? I like the big pickles, a hot pickle, an Amish pickle. They know how to make pickles. I hate pickles that are big, especially ones that are- Then why'd you get size. one? Is she nervous? She's super nervous to try this. <laughs> I don't even like it, but I bought it anyway. I bought like five. Girl, we see right through you. Oh, that does not look good. It's all like foamy. What is happening? I got two pickles, but I asked for an apple, but that's okay. Putting in there. Okay. That <laughs> looks disgusting. Why would you get something you already know you don't like? <gasps> um. Make it make sense. I'm going to hate this. I, I did drop <laughs> this on the floor, so I think that's why it's... Bubbly. That's too big for me. Oh my god. Let me get a plate. <laughs> this is like getting... If you know what I mean. Juicy. Okay. <laughs> Coke bottle. <laughs> we were talking about that on the live stream last night. Coke bottle. <laughs> yeah, get it, girl. This is the content that we asked for. This is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she is mm -hmm. sour. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be spicy. Okay, there's a hint of something, like once you swallow, but... There's that one clip of her eating, I think, sushi. And she goes... <laughs> it's mainly just really sour. <laughs> something about this makes it all worth it. Oh, wow. Um, this whole video is just fulfilling now. I wouldn't be able to enjoy this. It is so sour. Like I can handle spicy all day long. Like I'm a Is it really that sour? Spicy girly, but when it comes to like spicy sour girly, stuff, ice spice, not really for me. So we are currently at the science museum. I thought she was at the mall for a second there. Is that one of those where there's children running around like touching everything? I can't do it. I just can't do it. 
I accidentally bought, I went to like a Disney exhibit and I accidentally bought like for the whole museum, there was like a pass where you get both included the special exhibit and the whole museum. I should have just got the special exhibit because the whole museum was like kids running around. I didn't know it was that kind of science museum. <laughs> Gotta check these things. I almost went to the Museum of Illusions alone, which you can't really do, which that would have been so embarrassing if I actually did that. But I'm so glad I looked it up online. You're not supposed to go alone. Like you need someone else. Girl, this is like for little kids. What is she doing? Do they have a little kid with them? Is that her and her mom? Um, is she reliving her childhood or what? Mama's taking her out to the museum because they never got to do that growing up. These wholesome like things <laughs> okay that looks cool you look at all those little kids mm -mm. oh hell no she's like a child Are the people around thinking like, is this woman all right? Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> isn't she sweet? That was it. Okay, the fishies though. Why not a little bit of background music, girl? There's Dory or Nemo. Step oh into God, the mirror lost. maze. Confused. <laughs> That's Amber's worst nightmare right there, the mirror maze. Oh, oh my god, what if we get stuck in here? <laughs> that would happen to her. Wait, is that a mirror? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, claustrophobia. Oh my god. Our girl's trapped in a fun house. <laughs> Have you guys ever been like in a creepy fun house at a at a fair or like yeah, fair. <laughs> Carnival? We did it. Yay. I don't get it. Is she just with her mom? Oh, wait. It's like magnetism. Okay. Hey, guys. So it is the next day. Um, I'm getting ready. My mom actually stayed the night last night, which was cute and fun and fresh. Had her watch the movie Barbie. Oh, my goodness. She's slowly moving herself in. Because my grandma didn't like it very much, but I loved it. So I Really? I feel like you get it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Like, well, why don't you watch it? You could be the tiebreaker. My mom. I feel like it's kind of like a parody in a way. Like, you have to get it. You can't take it, like, on the nose. You can't take it, like, super seriously. I've seen people do, like, two-hour videos picking it apart. And they take it so seriously. But... That's not even the message. That she kind of liked it. Um, I personally cry in That's that movie. That's not even like what's going on, you know? It's it's just so good. There's like deeper meaning than just like, <laughs> oh, it's a Barbie movie. Yeah, it's a deep cut. Yesterday, um, I saw filming after the Science Museum. We had so much fun, but we ended up going out to dinner and then I went to my grandma's to visit her. So we were there for a bit. But today we're actually going to church. Um, last oh my goodness, Christian Lynn, it's coming, guys. That's what I was thinking. She's always been agnostic, right? Since day one. Well, since day one on her channel. <laughs> I don't know about since day one. I wonder how she grew up. Like, because I grew up Catholic. We talked about that on my live stream yesterday. I went through all the motions. Um, baptism, receiving the Eucharist, confirmation, everything. I wonder, like, did Amber grow up in a Christian church? Sunday, Nothing. My mom was like, church or casino? And I was like, casino. If you guys don't know anything about me, I am agnostic. Casino. My mom does believe in God and all that, so she wants to share this experience with me. I feel like when you go into rehab, there is, like, a push for Christianity a little bit. It's not like they don't, like, force you or anything. But in recovery programs can sometimes be sponsored by the church. So that's why they'll have like the meetings. They let you do it in the church if you incorporate God in some way. 
I have been to church several freaking times in my So yeah, a lot of people come out of recovery, Christians, born again, born again Christians, something like that. Life, but I will say it's been a very, very long time. Hot minute. So I am going for her today. And then after that, I'm actually gonna be meeting her boyfriend's family. So I'm super excited for that. And I'm not sure what the rest of the day entails. Look, Amber is just like getting in. She's meeting the whole family. Oh, they have it like a rock concert. Now, the church that I went to, the non-denominational Christian church that I would go to after I stopped being Catholic, <laughs> was like this. It was a rock concert in the beginning. They really jam out. It was exactly like this. Amber's going to church Christian Lynn. Y'all. Is she going to be like Chantal? It's all sanctimonious. It's like 10.30 p.m. It Start telling us all that we're going to hell. You guys are all going to hell. <laughs> That's what Foodie wants to say. It has been such a long but amazing weekend, like truly. So I met my mom's boyfriend's family. Okay, I was just wondering if Muslims believe in hell, and they do. Love. So like, there's our answer. Obsessed. And by the way, Chantal is going to use that against us. Remember, Chantal doesn't um, believe in my lifestyle anymore. <laughs> I don't believe in your lifestyle or no, I don't agree with your lifestyle as if I've like chose this girl. It chose me. If anybody is like an advertisement for gay people being born that way, it's me because just look at me. I mean, even my face is gay. It, church was actually so much fun. It was nothing like I expected. I've never been to a church like that. Like I like the non-denominational non Christian church that I went to. I've thought about going back even. They do like a life lesson. It's very modern, which is how it's so much different than the Catholic church. I remember growing up sitting there in church and just not taking in anything until I started going to the Christian church, the non-denominational church, because they would do like, let's say around Christmas, it would be about greed and like how your presents aren't that important. It's about spending time with your loved ones and of course, praising Jesus as well. They got to throw that in there, right? Because it's church. But I just like that better because you could relate it to your life more versus in Catholic church, they're reading passages from the Bible that is so old. And I just, it went in one year and out the other. I didn't retain any of the information. Sometimes the priests like in their sermon would try to connect it back to modern day, but sometimes they wouldn't. I can't really remember anything from Catholic church except standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down and shaking hands a live band like that started off by singing that's normal i guess one of my most favorite songs ever once they started getting into the more like i love jesus i love god <laughs> once it became that i did feel a certain type of energy and i ended up crying which really I she's in there crying in church actually isn't surprising because every our girl is emotional like Every little thing, is that what she's going to say? Leads her to cry these days. Ever since Feline walked out the door, 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 never to come home, home, home. She's been crying, crying, crying on the TikTok. Now in church. Every time I've gone to church, nine times out of ten, I shed at least one tear. But the music was just, like, beautiful. Like, it was just a really good time. I loved it. What is it? Like, all the energy of the people singing? so much my mom knows that this is not going to change my opinion on how i feel about god whatever i don't really talk about religion on my channel so we don't really have to get into that but like i know no girl get into it that for her god is the. what do they say like in your workplace you're not supposed to talk about religion or politics but we talk about religion and politics all the time <laughs> reason why she's eight years sober and to me that is special. I actually just went back from Target. So we. Oh, okay. So, yeah, she did find God in recovery. We have to get into that. But, like, I know that for her, God is the reason why she's eight years sober. And to me, 
that is special. I actually yeah. just got back from Target. Anything, like anything that you can cling on to, to cling on to your life, I think is the right way. Whatever works for you, I'm not going to judge or make it negative, you know? So we have a haul. Let's do it. I needed some TP. So we got some of that. I always like to have a few um, <laughs> toilet paper haul. Pressure for my cats. So I got a new one. I needed some just loose leaf college rolled paper. Got a thing of these mini Diet Cokes. Random fact about me I never finish a regular size Diet Coke. So these mini ones it's are just too big. Perfect. I've been craving. Big? Are you calling me big? Couscous. Couscous, and this is one of my favorite kinds. It's the Near East Couscous Mix. Garlic and olive oil. So I got two of those. I like with my tuna salad. Um, Did you guys see that Foodie Beauty made a lote at 5 a.m.? Homegirl was standing in that kitchen so out of breath. It was like she ran a 5K marathon. I wonder if Salah forbids her from bringing a chair in there so she can sit down while she cooks. I mean, she shouldn't. She should probably just stand, right? So that she can increase her stamina. <laughs> wheat thins, so I got some original wheat thins. I do like to have something sweet at night. Don't come. I got a veggie sandwich. Literally just has veggies. <laughs> I love the Kinder Bueno. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's like a little situation. It's like wafer. I love the crunchy wafer. Mm with that chocolate inside or whatever that is inside. I don't even know. For me, so I got these Kinder Bueno thingies. They're crispy, creamy chocolate thingies. bar, but it has like hazelnut, which reminds me of Nutella, which pretty much is Nutella, let's be real. It is like Nutella in there, but Nutella, it always tastes like chocolatey to me. I don't know. It's just hazelnut, it's not chocolate too. So I've never had a Squishmallow <laughs> before, but there's these like mystery squad by Squishmallow thingies. Why? So I got two of those. I'm kind of excited. So I got a... We literally just got mini brands yesterday, so I feel like I can't judge, but... <laughs> Kids toys, girl. At least open them up on camera so you can write it off on your taxes or something. Swiffer. And I also needed the little wet Swiffer thingies. So I got I'm just mad she's not showing us. <laughs> I do wonder if she's going to be like Christian now reciting her bible to us <laughs> giving us bible verses daily bible verse with amber lynn some of those and it's leaking so i need to put this away now the only way i can sleep is with these ollie sleep melatonin gummies they're amazing and i'm running out so i needed more so i haven't used i don't agree with your lifestyle <laughs> cascade platinum dishwasher um, I can't tell you how long because I usually wash my dishes by hand and then I'll put the wet dishes Why? in the dishwasher just to like dry dry like I'll just leave it open and they'll dry but I decided you know what I'm gonna try oh she leaves it open I was thinking like she puts them in there wet and then closes the door like isn't that for isn't that going to cause mold but no she shuts she opens the door using a dishwasher this is where we are we're hauling cascade so i got some of these cascade <laughs> platinum plus dishwasher situation type deals i have they always look good like candy remember the tide pod challenge kind of reminds me of that i don't blame the kids for trying it because it looks tasty kind of like fabuloso it looks like a a fruity drink a small trash can in my bathroom i don't have any bags for it so i just got some of these glad drawstring bags last but not least i got this mr beast bar it's milk chocolate i heard a lot of bad things about it so i want to know like are the bad reviews is it that bad i saw that at the checkout counter at target was not tempted i'm not a fan of mr beast i just find him annoying like that's kids content oh so I guess he does like good things. He cured blindness for like 50 people. So that's good. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it on camera. You can't hate him. Wasabi always sits like this. Maybe I'll try it on camera. Then why not try it? Girl wants to do mukbang so bad. No one's going to convince me otherwise. So that's it, y'all. She can't even do an outro for us anymore. 
But in regards to the outro, I got you covered. So what did you guys think of this? Amber Lynn eating a pickle. That was kind of interesting. I feel like that made the whole video worth it. Just seeing her try out that sour pickle. That was it for me. Going to the museum, spending a lot of time with her family. She even met her mom's boyfriend's family. Like they're really bringing Amber under their wing. And our girl finally has a family again. I'm sure she's flooded with like mixed emotions regarding that. Like why couldn't I have this when I was younger? But happy that she at least has it now that she's older. Our girl going to church. Will she turn into Christian Lynn? Will she become sanctimonious? Tell us all that we're going to hell. And she doesn't agree with our lifestyle. Oh, wait, she lives that lifestyle too. I'm just kidding. Like, I know it's not a lifestyle. It's just who you are, but don't come for me. And her grocery haul. She got a whole thing of candy bars and another candy bar from Mr. Beast. Our girl's kind of stocking up on junk food. I do wonder what's happening with the weight loss content. Is she going to bring that back? Now that she has settled into her apartment, we can start to make some better choices. Maybe, maybe not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.